Use this hack to get stronger legs, and we're gonna start, right? So in the sport of Olympic weightlifting, one of the biggest areas of weakness that we tend to see is going to be the lower back and the legs. And this is typically going to be represented by two different factors, okay? If we have an individual who has a very weak back or a back that's prone to fatigue, typically what's going to occur is that you're gonna see that butt rise very, very rapidly. Insert video of Jake snatching when he's really tired. Okay, so we're gonna see that butt come really high, almost in line with the head. What this tends to do is it really loads the hamstrings. So if we have somebody who has longer limbs, we might see that butt rise anyway, and that doesn't necessarily mean that their back is weak, but it shows us that second key factor that they have weak legs. And typically what ends up happening is that if we do have an individual that has weak legs, that second key issue, we're gonna see the clean smash the sh out of this lifter. They're gonna take that clean, they're gonna end up getting pancaked to the bottom and they're gonna struggle to stand up that actual clean. Then when they stand up the clean, now their back is fatigued, their legs are tired and they struggle with actually hitting that dip and drive on the jerk. We could also just see that this individual might even struggle to actually just stand the clean up. So when we're talking about snatch or when we're talking about the clean and jerk, it comes back to those two major issues, a weak back or weak legs. And typically there's one hack, one simple hack that I'm gonna give you four practical ways that you can implement this into your overall training that can lead to improving both of these factors, especially for getting stronger legs. So from 2014 to 2016, I was fortunate enough to spend a fair amount of time behind one of the all-time great technicians, Norik Vardanian. And he was trained by his father, arguably the greatest weightlifter of all time, or at least top five, based off of our old ranking video on YouTube from about two to three years ago. One of the things that Yuri Vardanian taught his son, Norik, is that typically a very easy way to strengthen your legs in a very short period of time is to use this technique. And I remember working with Norik and actually talking to him, picking his brain, listening to everything he had to say, okay? He has an incredible technical mind, and on top of that, his dad might have the best technique of all time based off of his efficiency on his actual movements. He pointed out one real easy to see factor that his dad always did when he would be clean and jerking very, very heavily. And his dad was known for front squatting only 230 kilos. I say only, but relative to what we're about to discuss, it's not that heavy relative to his clean and jerk. And in that example, Norik pointed out that Yuri, his father, would catch 222 and a half kilos at about 82 and a half or 83 and a half kilograms. And he would catch that and do a double bounce. And then that would lead to him standing up the clean. And that's when he brought to light this simple hack. And that is going to be a double bounce squat. So Yuri would enable himself to hit bigger weights by using this double bounce squat. So it would have an acute impact on his platform performance. It would also have that chronic impact on strengthening his back squat or his front squat. And in turn, his back because of that position that we would be holding. So now we're gonna go into how you guys can implement this into your training and go over what is actually happening from that mechanistic standpoint so that you can get stronger legs. So the first way that you can implement this is that if you're two to three weeks out from a competition and you wanna drastically start to decrease your strength training volume, so your absolute strength movements. Okay, so we wanna to start to really go heavy with your snatch and your clean and jerk but we still wanna have a heavy load on the back squat, but decrease the volume tremendously. One of the things that you could do is you could do a double bounce back squat double or a double bounce back squat triple, and that could be your only set for the day. And what you're gonna end up doing is when you get to the bottom, you're gonna do a little bit of a bounce and then drive out. Get to the bottom, have a little bounce and drive out. So what this does is it gives you a little bit more time under tension. Okay, so that's one mechanism behind increasing that strength. The second factor is that it actually puts you in a better position. You tend to have a more upright trunk. Okay, that's where that strength from the back comes into play. And on that double bounce, you tend to have a tighter gut pushing into your belt. You become a little bit more proprioceptive. You increase that mind-muscle action because of the action that you're doing with that double bounce. So use double bounce back squats two to three weeks out from competition 
for two to three reps and you're gonna see a drastic improvement in your quad strength and in your back strength. So that second key factor would be if you're an athlete who tends to get smashed by the clean, okay, you don't meet the clean very well. Look back at how Yuri would take that 222 and a half. Okay, he did a double bounce. So if this is a technique or a skill that he had, we should train this inside of training. So one thing that you can do is you can actually do double bounce front squats. Okay, so if you go in and you hit a big double with a double bounce, now you can start to increase your trunk control. You're gonna start to feel that in your abs. Very similar to how you're actually doing that double bounce back squat. On top of that, you're gonna to start to feel that position a little bit better when you're receiving that heavy clean. So you can use this to your advantage. I even recommend pushing to a heavy single double bounce front squat to try and increase that strength so that then that can transfer over to what you're doing on the platform. That third key factor is to actually do a double bounce clean. Okay, so one of the reasons why people tend to use a double bounce is that they're in bed position. Maybe they jump back, maybe the bar's a little bit in front of them and they have to double bounce to get their hips back underneath them, anything along these lines. If you've never trained the technique, it feels really weird and very, very challenging. But if you can actually train the way you're meeting the bar and actually incorporate that double bounce into your training, when you're on the competition platform and you're taking 110 kilos on your last attempt to try and win a world bronze medal in the clean and jerk like Haley Riker did, you know what that double bounce feels like. You know what it feels like when you stand up out of the bottom position. And in turn, this is a little nugget, it improves your jerk. Because of having a more upright position out of the bottom, now you can hold a more upright position on that dip and drive and the jerk is gonna be in a better place. So I recommend training double bounce cleans. That fourth key factor that you can use to implement and increase your squats or your front squats is going to be implementing it into a complex. So one of my favorite all-time complexes is going pause squat into a double bounce squat into a rapid squat. So we would go pause up, okay? Double bounce up and then go right away into that third rep. This is an absolutely phenomenal way to increase your leg strength and to increase your back strength. I actually think if you can hit a pause front squat, a double bounce front squat, and a rapid front squat, if you can hit that for three reps, okay, that really should determine what you are going to able to hit at a max effort on the clean, okay? So with Haley, she can do a pause, double bounce, and then a rapid around 112 to 115, and I believe on the front squat, and I believe that will predict what she's capable of clean and jerking. So this is something that you can build up over time, and on top of that, it's gonna build a lot of mental fortitude to pause, drive out of the hole, do the double bounce, drive out of the hole, and then do a rapid movement. So we can use the double bounce as a way to increase our quad strength, our leg strength, and our back strength. It's going to improve our overall performance in the dip and drive of the jerk, and obviously, it's going to improve our squat and the way that we receive the bar when we're doing a clean. So if you guys need help with your overall programming, you don't know how to implement double bounce squats or double bounce cleans into your overall periodization, head over to garagestrength.com and you can pick up a weightlifting program today to help you smash some weights. Because remember, freaks, if you guys want to become a champion, you've always got to cultivate your power. Peace.